What's up guys, back in another video and today I'll be showing you guys another glitch gold that I found in NHL 23, so let's get into it. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for the love and support on my past glitch gold video. Uh, I really appreciate it and uh, if you guys want to see more glitch goals and tips, make sure you guys subscribe. Before we get into the video, I just want to answer the most frequently asked question I got in my last video, which was, why is this a glitch goal? What is a glitch goal? Anything about the actual word glitch goal. Uh, so I'm going to say this very quickly because I already went over all your comments. I answered all of them uh, as I usually do. Um, so I'm just going to say it very quickly. I don't want to take too much time in the video. But a glitch goal for me is a high efficient shot that goes in a lot of the times. Uh, for example, a cross crease is a glitch goal because... You can't do anything when it's open. It's a goal. Not anymore because goalies are just absolutely crazy. Um, but a wrap, same thing. It's a cro it's a glitch goal because it goes in a lot of the times. Same thing with a short side snipe in the past. It's a glitch goal because if there's space, it goes in a lot of the times. Same thing with these goals. You guys think, oh, I'm breaking the game, but I'm not. It's the same thing as a cross crease. So you guys need to understand that. I'm not breaking the game. It's just another type of goal you guys can score. So this goal probably is easier to score. Um, just because you're going to have more space. Um, but it's probably harder to actually put the puck in the net if you haven't tried it yet. The things you want to remember before we get into the actual goal is that it can only be scored on with righties from the left side. So on the blocker side. So all you guys want to do now is you want to come in from the left side boards uh, where the corner where you see Caulfield or Suzuki um, picking up the puck here. Uh, all you want to do is you want to skate towards the goal. You want to stay above the goal line and between the face-off circle. Between there, you could have your right skate into the face-off circle, you guys see. But you really don't want to get too much into the face-off circle. As you guys see from my goals here, I may have one uh, one skate into the face-off circle, but nothing else. Uh, I'm really between the goal line and the face-off circle, and I'm kind of cutting towards the middle you could say but very slightly actually performing the shot now you want to make sure the goalie is not on his post as you guys can see when i shoot when the goalie is on his post whether he's uh you know one knee up or you know both legs up it won't go in you really need to make sure the goalie's off his post either on his knees or you know just standing up uh make sure that top left corner of the net is open then you want to shoot right where your skates reach the uh, where the trapezoid line meets with the goal line. Uh, where where they intersect is where you want to shoot. The actual shot is fairly simple to make. There's no mechanics behind it. You just want to come in, reach the trapezoid line, take a shot top left, and it should go in. Uh, there's no you know skilled mechanics behind this goal. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys want to see next on the channel. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do mainly tips and tricks uh, coming from a pretty decent hub player i would say so myself uh so make sure you guys subscribe and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys on the next one